Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Castle Lou. Um, wait. I don't think I said that right, but I said all of it, so whatever. As you can see, we're on the other side of the water cavern. And I'm gonna kill some goblins. Because it only take a sack. You see? Only a sack. Anyway, we're probably going here. Call it a hunch. You know what? Those airships. Yeah. I was afraid of that. Well, I guess we better go help. Assuming they don't, you know, kill me. This bodes poorly. Very poorly. They stole the crystal. The bombardment was too much. I wonder if there's any secret passages in here. Anyway. Wow, doesn't this make me envious? Look at all those boxes they opened. And I wasn't around. I got a tent. Awesome. The bombardment was too much. The healing pods. Up pods. Upstairs. I must... Right, I think he's dead. Call the Who? Is that? It is! Anna! That can't be good. Uh-huh. You! You're that bard! Anna ran away because of your treachery! Tails gonna <laughs> You spoony bard! No wait! Man. Tails gonna kick Edward's ass. Die! Please listen! Oh wait, did I just say Edward? I mean the bard's ass. Edward's a bard name, right? Oh you know what? The bard's name is Edward. There. Be happy? Fine. Take this! That's hilarious. He's beating the bar of a cane. Father, stop! I guess she's still alive. Oh, Anna. I'm so glad to see you again. Father, Edward is the Prince of Duncan. Forgive me, Father, for running away. But I love Edward. Still, I know I couldn't find happiness without your consent. I was on my way home when we were attacked by Baron's Red Wings, led by Golbez. Who's Golbez? I've never heard of Golbez before. Who is he? Yeah, I want to know too, Cecil. I don't know. All I know is his powers were beyond words. You know what? I need to come up with an incredibly fun voice from Edward. It's the only acceptable option. Anyway, but why did he attack Damkan? You know, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. He wanted the crystal, and they spared no one to get it. My mother, my father, even Anna shielded me from their arrows. You loved him enough to give your own life? Father, forgive me. I love you. Anna! 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 Call us a hunch, but I think she might be dead. Damn you, Golbez! Who is that monster anyway? What do you know about him? He came to Baron one day and became the new leader of the Red Wings. He he stole leads them in a mission to plunder the crystals. Stop your simpering! That won't bring Anna back. Golbez of Baron, I shall take his life with my own two hands! Taylor, wait! You can't possibly go alone! Here, take this! I will kill Golbez on my own! 
I don't need her help. I don't need anyone's help! Wow. I knew he ditched us, but I thought it would take a little longer than that. Oh well. I just wish someone more useful was replacing him. Anna. Stop crying! Yeah, you tell him, Rydia. You're a grown up. You're not. You're not supposed to cry. I lost my mom, but I'm not gonna cry anymore. Rydia. I don't care. Leave me alone. I'm staying here with Anna. I will never leave her side. I should really probably try to cut down on the wacky voices, though. They're a little distracting. <laughs> or at least I thought so when I was editing the first three uh, video, uh, episodes. That's enough! You're now the rightful ruler of Demsion! So start acting like it! You owe your people, and you owe it to Anna. Your Majesty, my name is Seville, and I need your help. What? My friend is suffering from desert fever in Capo. I need to get the Sand Ruby to save her. You know, I'm screwing his voice up because I'm just, I'm screwing it up. It should be more like this. You know, deeper. Can you help me? What is her name? Rosa. She is very dear to you, isn't she? Like Anna was to me. You can find the sand ruby in the antline cave, which lies to the east. The ruby forms from the fluid that the antlion secretes when it lays eggs. We must cross the shallows with our hovercraft to reach the... He has a hovercraft? Anyway, after we acquire the sand rupee, we can cross the shallows to reach Capo. Seriously, a hovercraft! Prince Edward has joined your party. But really, a hovercraft. Goodbye, sweet Anna. Oh. Well, she just turned into pixie dust. Or wherever it is that corpses go in this game. What do you know? A hovercraft. And we have Edward, who should definitely be in the back row. Oh, that's how it works. I did not get that. <laughs> I didn't realize the rules work like that, actually. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little risky and move Rydia to the front row. I think with this level, with the current level of monsters, she can probably take it. And how do I get out of here so I can save? Like that, apparently. I got Edward! Yay. Now then. Okay, I can fly on the rock. For, but first, to the Sandline Cave, if I can figure out where that is. Call it a hunch, but... Somewhere over here, perhaps? Uh, well, there's sort of like a path type thing there. Uh, and there is a cave here. This might be it. Antline Cave! This is the place. Neato. Um, I'm a little worried about Ed right now. This his level is sort of low. But, I figure I'll probably be okay. Spider Silk! What is that? I don't even... Let's see. Oh, you know what? 
Oh, uh, maybe not. It affects slow. Did... No, Taylor didn't leave his junk. Um... Equipment. I mean equipment. So this is the harp. Harps are sort of crummy weapons. Like, really. Adamant. Interesting. I wonder if it's leaky and ice. Mess. Okay, heal is using a potion and splitting it across your party. Hive is, well, exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay, you know what? Front row, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Um, Sing changes what it does based on the heart he has equipped it. In this case, it apparently doesn't do anything. Because, yeah, he kind of sucks. Like, seriously. He's terrible. Um, Cure. And, yeah. So, remember the thing about Riddid being on the front row? That's gone. I got a potion. I, sh I should actually use some of those potions. What's... Yellow jelly. Well, obviously it's a plan. Other than that, it's hard to say. Um... My first thought is thunder. I'm not gonna try to sing again. Yep, Thunder was the correct choice. And Edward leveled up. Now then, over here. It's a box! Man, though, I'm gonna run out of MP pretty quickly at this rate. Sing! Thunder. Ridia leveled up. She learned Toad. And I got a Golden Needle. Okay, that's the way down. Uh, there's a box here. Yep. It's a potion. No. Well, that's new. And I'm feeling like I should run away. Yeah, de definitely getting that feeling. Definitely getting that feeling. Right, I think it's time to try to attack them, just to see how it works out. I just don't have any real hopes for, the di for damage uh, output, but I figure if I'm lucky, he'll at least be able to, like, hit. You know? No, no, that was hoping for too much. It seems. Um, let's try using heal. I don't... Oh, it's dead. I know healing splits up a potion, I don't remember how it does it in this version. I know in the original version, it drastically weakened the effect of the potion. I think in this one, it may have made it a little bit better. But I don't really remember. So let's find out. Heal. And honestly, I have a few potions. Okay, that was 13 apiece. That's the complete shit potion heal. Well, oh well. Yeah, Edward is useless. This should come as a shock to no one. Like, really. It's a tent! And a potion. Dead. 
demo boy. What is that? Dead. Okay then. Works for me. But you know what? This is actually still more efficient uses of my potion than it would be if I was just using one to heal Edward. Or possibly even Rydia. I mean, he's still basically useless, but at least I get a little more utility out of some of my resources this way. Stress in a little. Now then, down we go. Oh hey, so, I still haven't gotten Sing to do anything for me, but apparently Edward's harp, when he can actually hit with it, besides dealing small amounts of damage, can put things to sleep. Antarctic Wind. So there's that, at least. He's still pretty useless, though. Is this a... Uh, yes it is. It's a... Uh, Lamia Heart. Sword. What does that harp do? Let's find out. Well, it's apparently more powerful. You hit tempting melt. That could mean anything. Okay, sleep inducing. What does Lamia's harp do? All of them should do something a little different. But, well, I certainly don't know which is which. Time for some beta testing. I'm gonna try Sing because I'm hoping that's more likely to work. No effect. Son of a submariner. Now I need a way to actually be able to hit something with him. Which could take quite a while before we're gonna find out what the Lemmy Harp does. Um, I want to go up here. I think. So what's in here? It's a save point. And boxes! With Phoenix down and either. And an emergency exit, which I'm assuming lets me leave the dungeon quickly. That's actually a lot of useful stuff. Pretty cool. Um... Still not gonna use the tent though. And down, and up, and I wanna get to the box. I need to stop running into those yellow dudes, otherwise I'm gonna be out of MP by the time I have to fight the um, antline. And you know I'm gonna have to fight the antline, I mean, seriously. What? Th those are kinda gross. Um. They don't have too much HP though, so it's not too bad. At least. Yay, 9 damage. I guess it's not weak against ice. Now then. Spider Silk! And what's over here? Nothing! Okay, I currently have exactly 5 chocobo users. So I finally hit something with the harp. It is indeed twice as, like, twice as strong as his old harp, meaning it can deal a whole 20 damage, and it inflicts confusion instead of sleep. Also, you know those turtles? They're apparently extremely weak against ice. I know this because I got a lucky hit against one. So that's sort of a new comp. Wait, you know, I just realized this is a basilisk. That means it could easily have, um, stone. And that would be bad. Like, really bad. Like, seriously. Do not want to get stoned. Or petrification, I suppose. Because they actually named it something that isn't so... Um, what's the word I want? I want to say suggestive, but that's not right. So yeah, when I said that adamants are weak against ice, I mean Rydia deals more damage with the ice rod than Cecil does with his Dark Blade. 
I think. Shadow Blade. What's over here? Oh, you know what? This is a big round room. We're just gonna go in the middle. I'm willing to take the chance. I wonder how many potions I have left. I should check. I have been pretty... Nine? Man, that sucks. So much. I hope the antlion doesn't kill me. Well, I don't think it will. But I might have to devote Rydia to healing for a while. This is where the antlion lays its eggs! Is that voice gonna work? Only time will tell. Eek! Oh, that was just terrible. What happened to this? Maybe I should just do like a squeaky voice for her. It's okay! The antlions are quite tame. They don't attack people. He is so gonna get you. Here! I'll demonstrate by taking the sand rupee like so. I so called it. Come on! We have to help him. I think that voice was a little off. Oh well. That thing is ugly. Can't really, really, really. You know, I think the other harp would actually be more useful here for the whole sleeping thing. Um, yeah. So now that he's all healed up. I think it's for spamming Chocobo. Hopefully. Maybe not. I did not want to hide, you spoony bard! Hate him so much! Choco okay. Well, it seems to attack every time I hit it with a physical attack. Um... I wanted to use a potion... ...on him. Like so. Now then! More Chocobo! Choco KICK! Let's try this. Oh, it can't attack that. Okay, not gonna do that again. Ha. Ah. Good to know, though. They don't seem to attack it with counter attack, so... I should be pretty good if I only use Cecil and Rydia. At least with a run of MP. Oh, well, it's dead. Obtain the sand, Rupee! You know, come to think of it, I don't think I ever got a message for Edward joining my party. Ahem. <laughs> How could this have happened? They've always been totally harmless! Monsters are rapidly multiplying these days. Their behavior is changing as well. I can't help but feel this is some kind of sign. I don't even know if I want to use that voice yet. I might save it for later on. Anyway, for now, come on, let's go cure Rosa. Right, let's go.
Although, of course I'd prefer not to lose money. But what are you gonna do? Oh wow, look at the time. Actually, I'm gonna end off here. So, until the next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. See ya.